Good morning, child of God. Time for us to open our Bibles. Get into God's holy word, the scripture passages from the holy sacrifice of the mass. We do it every day here on Seize the Day. Also record this and put it up on my YouTube channel. And we link that to the Facebook page as well. So lots of options. So if you have friends and family members who maybe do not subscribe to Sirius XM and they would like to get a little bit of Bible in their lives every day, have them look me up on the YouTube channel or the Facebook page there. And my 60-second reflection, which I write each and every day from my website, GusLloyd.com. Today is called God's Will Be Done. Find out why here in just a moment. For our first reading, we're back in 2 Corinthians today, chapter 11, verses 1 through 11, where St. Paul writes, If only you would put up with a little foolishness from me. Please put up with me, for I am jealous of you with the jealousy of God. Since I betrothed you to one husband to present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. But I am afraid that as the serpent deceived Eve by his cunning, your thoughts may be corrupted from a sincere and pure commitment to Christ. For if someone comes and preaches another Jesus than the one we preached, or if you receive a different spirit from the one you received or a different gospel from the one you accepted, you put up with it well enough. For I think that I am not in any way inferior to these super apostles. Even if I am untrained in speaking, I am not so in knowledge. In every way we have made this plain to you in all things. Did I make a mistake when I humbled myself so that you might be exalted because I preached the gospel of God to you without charge? I plundered other churches by accepting from them in order to minister to you. And then when I was with you and in need, I did not burden anyone, for the brothers who came from Macedonia supplied my needs. So I refrained and will refrain from burdening you in any way. But the truth of Christ in me, this boast of mine, shall not be silenced in the regions of Achaia. And why? Because I do not love you? God knows I do. The word of the Lord from 2 Corinthians chapter 11. It's our first reading in today's Mass. So first, this idea, you know, what's Paul talking about here? These super apostles. Well, these great preachers were coming in, and now Paul had already brought the, the gospel of Christ to the people of Corinth, right? So now these new super apostles, these great preachers were coming in, and they were preaching a different gospel. They were preaching a different Jesus, if you will. And St. Paul says to the people, you put up with it well enough. My, how things change or how they maybe stay the same, right? Isn't it interesting because in one of St. Paul's letter to Timothy, he talks about this idea that people are going to come around and they're going to tickle your ears, if you will. You know, They're going to say things to you that you really want to hear. And I suspect that's exactly what these super apostles were doing. And St. Paul says, Oh, I'm sorry that you're falling for this stuff. Same thing. Same thing happens today. You know why? Because the true gospel of Christ is difficult. It's hard. It's hard to live with and hard to live by. But that doesn't make it any less true. Amen? All right, our responsorial for today, taken from Psalm 111. Your works, O Lord, are justice and truth. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. Majesty and glory are his work, and his justice endures forever. He has won renown for his wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. The works of his hands are faithful and just. Sure are all his precepts, reliable forever and ever, wrought in truth and equity. And the response again, your works, O Lord, are justice and truth. From Psalm 111, today's responsorial in the Mass. And our gospel passage, we're back in the Sermon on the Mount today, Matthew chapter 6, verses 7 through 15, where Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not babble like the pagans, who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive others their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord from Matthew chapter 6, our Gospel reading in today's Mass. 
you know, there have been volumes, reams written about the Our Father, the Lord's Prayer that we hear Jesus teaching his disciples today. But my reflection today is called God's Will Be Done because I think it can all be summed up in that one simple phrase, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. You know, Jesus told his disciples, hey, pray for anything. Pray for anything that you desire, the desires of your heart. And that's cool. We can certainly do that. We can ask God for anything. But the perfection in prayer comes when we surrender, when we submit everything and say, Lord, not my will, but thy will be done. It's a dangerous prayer, but one that we most certainly should be praying. And we do. Amen? So let's start our day with a prayer. Father, we love you. We thank you for your word in our heart. We're so sorry for those times, Lord, when we, when we fall for false gospels. They're all over the pray place. Forgive us for that. And help us to always remember that your will is what we should pray for always. In the mighty name of Christ Jesus, the Lord, we pray. Amen. And amen in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you get something out of these every day. And if you do, please subscribe and share it with a friend. So until next time, peace and good to you and yours. Bye-bye for now.